hello so hope you are doing good so i am going to show how we can use this tool so we are going to open this so okay so you if your bb is not enabled so you need to enable this and there you can see this is our home and it is database where all the information will be insert there and this is for drop down list so there you can see this is the heading as per heading wise you can change or edit drop down list if you change anything then it will be reflect in our user form and just you need to click the refresh button okay so i am going to show the home page and this is the open user form so just click there and this is our home page also there you can see this is database management form and also another is summary and in the top right side you can see a increase or decrease sizes then just click this button then the user form will be fit also there in the bottom side you can see a exit button if you want to close this form then you need to click this so first of all we are going to data management form just click there and our data entry form will be show so in the top button you can see add new information update delete clear refresh full user form and exit as well as plus minus icon also this is our record input field with necessary calendar icon for example i am just input this one two three four so mrn this is, should be the unique i am just using this as a unique value okay this is for another first name and last and this is for drop down you can change and dob so you can click from the calendar picker and this is also for calendar picker so so if you type the date then you need to follow the date format otherwise it will not insert it in the database for example i am just type any string value then just add new information then please select the proper date so we need to maintain this properly and this is a checkbox so you can check as per your requirement wise data and this is also so this is comes from our drop down list so if you change anything this will be reflect in the form okay so we are going to add information uh, add new and you see information added successfully so we need to cross check just close this and we are also close this and we are going to the database so this is our last input data and the patient id is dynamically generated just this is the serial number automatically generated and this is our last data okay we are going to open again form you cannot update any information until select any data no valid information found for update so we need to go to the summary okay there is a summary and now if you select any information you you there you can see the search option for example if you want to search data from full database just select all and you can search any information search there okay you can also search by patient id mrn that means you can criteria search information okay so this is our also the refresh button for refresh anything uh, i'm going to search information and also you can see there is the eight that means how many data is loaded in this list box so that will be shown in our top okay so we are going to update this just click there and this will be show the details you see there is we already select this is check that's why this is selecting so if you change any information just change it and update and you see information added successfully if you go to again the summary sheet and click there you see this information is updated there okay so the next option is delete so we are going to summary again and select this and delete okay information delete successfully from the database and the refreshes information is show there as well as we are going to download information so there you can see the download option just click there and report download successfully that means which information loaded in this list box this will be downloaded so we need to cross check close this and go to the same path and this is our 
downloaded information so if you want to open this then you can see this is the loaded information okay close this again there so i hope you understand how to manage this user form and for example if you want to change this information like if you want to change this title just go to their developer and there is a view code and this is the form and this is our database form so if you want to change any information just click there and go to the captcha so if you change any information then this will be reflect there okay so you can change there but you need to follow this sequence should be the this sequence wise so if you want to ask any question you can ask me i will try to assist you thank you very much